Hi guys, yasas, que calos irtate to another episode of Dimitris Dishes. Today we're making what's known in Greek as arakas maginares, translates to green peas and artichokes. It's such a delicious dish that's ready in 30 minutes. Goes perfect with lamb, so if you're looking for a nice side to serve with an Easter lamb or something like that, if you're, if you're serving lamb as a main course, for a dinner party, this goes well, so good together, and it's just so easy to make. Tastes even better the next day, so make extra because leftovers are the best. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with five or six scallions, also known as green onions in some parts of the world, and you're just gonna finely chop them or thinly slice them. We're going all the way down to the ends. We wanna use all parts of the scallions for this. And you always want to make sure that you clean the scallions before you start using them because they can have dirt trapped in between them. So put them in a big bowl of cold water, swish them around and all of the dirt should sink down to the bottom and you'll have your clean scallions on top. And if you do this and you see that the water is really dirty, you're going to want to change out the water two or three times to make sure that they're nice and clean. And you never want to pour the water out and put these into a strainer by pouring because Whatever dirt is on the bottom will end up right back on the scallions. Just lift them out and put them in a strainer. And you could do this in the sink, but you know, I have cameras up, I don't wanna move them around, so I'm doing it here. So you can have an idea. And the water looks pretty clean to me, hardly any dirt in these. Shake them around to get that excess out. And then they're gonna go in the pot. Now this is a fancy pot. It was a gift to me actually, and I love it. And you guys love it too, because I get so many questions about where I got it from and where you can get it. I will post the link to this if I find it in, on Amazon, just so you can know the brand and everything. And if they have it, if maybe if they have it in a different color, you guys can check that out on the written blog post on the, on the website, right? Okay, so I'm going to add some olive oil to this. This is known as a ladero, which is a vegetarian, or it's basically vegan, this dish. So we tend to put a lot of olive oil in these vegan dishes. You can adjust it and put less. It's not 100% you know, necessary or written in stone that you have to put the same amount that I'm putting. A little pinch of salt. And we're gonna cook this over medium heat until they're nice and soft. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare the dill. I have a bunch of fresh dill over here. And all we need, we wanna get rid of those tough stems. So uh, you can pull them off or shave them off with a sharp knife. Oh, fresh dill smells so good. Then gather it all up. I already washed this and dried it and all that. And then just finely chop it. But mint goes really well with peas and um, artichokes. You can use whatever herbs you like. You can do even a combination of dill, mint, and even some parsley. They all go really nice together. This is my mom's recipe and I love it exactly the way it is. So I'm just sharing it with you the way she makes it. But you can, again, you can use your favorite herbs in this. So before I put everything else in, I'll tell you that these are frozen green peas, but you can use canned green peas if that's all you have. It would be about 540 grams of them or one pound and three ounces to be exact. These are frozen and these are canned artichokes because if I were to peel the artichokes myself, I probably wouldn't um, do this, make this dish. It wouldn't be this fast. This is the brand that I use. It's not sponsored. I like to get the quartered artichoke hearts. They do have other ones. They have baby artichokes, mini artichokes, hearty artichokes. I've tried all of them and these uh, quartered artichokes are my favorite, but use whatever you can find. You might even be able to find them frozen. It's so easy when you just pop them out of a can. All right, now we're gonna add the green peas in. And you wanna make sure you season every step of the way so there's lots of flavor in the food. So we're gonna season with some salt, some black pepper. My mom doesn't add garlic to this, so I don't either, but if you wanted to, you can grate one or two garlic cloves and throw them in here for extra flavor. I'm just gonna cook these down until they're thawed because they're still frozen right now, and then we're gonna move on. It only takes about five minutes for the peas to thaw out. Then we're gonna add all of the dill. Now my instincts would tell me to add the dill in the end, but my mom does it at the same time as she adds the peas in. She usually uses canned peas, so since I'm using the frozen peas, I decided to thaw them out first and then add the dill. I'm also gonna add the artichokes, about a quarter cup of water, 
And you can add the juice of one or two lemons. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I'm going with the two lemons, but you can make it as lemony as you like. A little bit more black pepper and a little pinch of salt for the artichokes. Mix it all up and we're gonna cook this for about eight minutes or so or until everything is warm through and nice and flavorful and delicious. You wanna make sure that the peas and the artichokes are super tender. Again, about eight, eight to 10 minutes. And just like that, the dish is ready. You just wanna make sure, like I said before, that everything is nice and tender and aromatic. It's time for the taste test to make sure that everything is good. You wanna taste it and see if it needs more seasoning and add more salt and pepper or even more lemon juice if you want to. Up to you. Mm. So fresh tasting. The peas are perfectly cooked. I like using frozen peas rather than canned peas, but my mom uses canned peas and I love that too. The canned peas come out a little bit more creamy, so the sauce will be a little bit thicker, if you, if you know what I mean. And the artichoke hearts taste so fresh. If you're gonna peel all these artichokes, it's just not gonna be worth the time. And also I feel like they're so much more expensive. The canned ones are delicious and just as good. Make sure you don't get the artichoke hearts that are stored in like a vinegary solution. Those are good for, for appetizers, like salads and things like that. Antipasto boards, not for this recipe. It's gonna be too briny. I hope you give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DemetrisDishes.com. If you want some lamb recipes to go with this, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.